along the lovely tree-lined routes of uh, France. We're uh, quite happy to be driving today actually because we keep checking the, um, air, the temperature for air temperature for outside and it's 38 degrees at the moment so we're in the van, it's got aircon, quite comfortable. Bernie opened the door for a second and it felt like you were in the Sahara. So I'm pretty glad we're in the van. <laughs> So we'll get to our next campsite, settle down. This, basically, this is just a driving north day today, really. And uh, then we'll see where we can get to from there probably tomorrow. But, um, but yeah, not too bad driving in this heat in the van with the air con, is it, Bernie? It's better than being outside. So you'll be pleased to know it is no longer 40 degrees. And we are able to get out and have a bit of a walk. Thank gosh. That's because we've headed back north and we've headed to Brittany and it's a lot cooler here. <laughs> In fact, you wouldn't think it was the same country. It was 40 degrees a day and a half ago and today it's cloudy, overcast and an absolutely perfect day for having a bit of a walk. Not hot at all. So we're off. And we're going to go have a little walk on the Grand Routier. And we are in ooh, a place called Duarnenes in Brittany and we're having a little walk along the coastal path GR34. it's the GR34 correct don't know what we're gonna find we're just gonna have a little toddle and unlike the last week and a half it's perfectly walkable oh, thank god I couldn't have took any more of that heat oh my gosh I thought I was gonna die Bernie nearly did, he nearly melted. <laughs> we're alright now, now we're back in our lovely Brittany. Get out of the Pyrenees! <laughs> over 30 degrees, I'm, I'm doomed. Yeah, Bernie says over 30 degrees and he's doomed. Really doomed. Over 40 and he's really doomed. Well, I think everybody's doomed over 40. Crikey. Only way we could survive was by staying in the car with the aircon on. <laughs> it's a bit sad, but anyway, there we go. And it was a bit of a shame because we would have liked to have gone out and done a bit more walking, but it was just, it just wasn't possible. Couldn't breathe in a man walk. I never thought I'd moan that it was too hot, but it was too hot. <laughs> Ooh, we're going down. I think this route's probably a little bit overgrown for us to get any good views. So we're actually going to head into town. I'm going to go that way and have a look. Come on, let's go into town. And here we are at the beach. And that's probably a 10 minute walk from the campsite. Lovely beach, it's got a demarked, marked off area where you can swim safely. And that's beautiful clear water. And the kids are in. <laughs> Don't blame them, beautiful day. Is it nice sitting near the beach, Bernie? It's a nice breeze. It's lovely breeze, <laughs> that's all we want. All we want is an ice cool breeze. <laughs> yeah, I drove 600 miles for this breeze. We did. 600 miles for a nice cool breeze. It's worked out rather well, hasn't it? Yeah, I we drove. A long way. Well, from, from the um, Pyrenees to Brittany. It's quite a ways. Yeah, and the very top. Because <laughs> even the southern part of Brittany was too hot. So, no, that was too hot. Let's go a bit further. <laughs> Yeah. Never mind. We're here now and we're chillaxing. That's a nice little beach. Nice little town beach. Oh, and then you come down the ways a little bit more and you come to another beach. Big yeah, look at the size of that cemetery up there. Oh, we're going to have a look at that in a minute, Bernard. Another lovely beach. Still on the G30, GR34. Little signs everywhere, look, so you know that you're 
Still on the run, don't I? Now that is some cemetery. Can we get in it? Oh, I love awesome cemeteries. Bernie's not so keen. Oh, that's a pretty view. Look at that. That's very pretty coming up from the town. <laughs> it's so funny because all along this route there's um, these little exercise areas. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah this is probably the only one that me and Bernie could actually do <laughs> slalom <laughs> yeah I'm gonna make myself feel sick in a minute okay enough of that malarkey <laughs> that's maybe to that little cove down there yeah there's some people down there so there's little little paths to little coves everywhere. It's quite nice. Yeah, there's the little bay. There's a boat trip. <laughs> yeah, trips out. Hoping it's going to give us a view all the way round. Yeah, it does. Look, that's what we need to do. We need to get to the end of the harbour wall for a nice view around the bay. Oh, it's breezy. Breezy around it. It's a bit windy down here. You're going to get some wind noise. Oh, that's a lovely view of the harbour. And the town. Just heading into the main uh, port area. Main town, that's really nice walk into town, that's lovely. Really yeah! <laughs> Some big boats out there. And it's a Saturday, so it's going to be busy. Let's go and have a look in town. Harbour. What's going on? Excellent. Apparently, this port is one of four around Duana Neds. It's got four of these ports. Really nice place to come and visit. There's a group of rowers in the boat. There's a little bit of um, competition for the cromity rowers we saw in Scotland last year. It's a bit calmer here though than out on the Cromity Firth. <laughs> They're doing good. They've got a current against them. Yeah. Around that island. Cracking on. Oh, there nearly was a collision there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it was all happening in Britain. 
maritime disaster. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's a maritime disaster.